How are you, Jordan? And welcome to Cocktails with the Queens. It's a very special episode, and you'll find out about that in one second. But first, I'm back with my girls, Vivica A. Fox. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. Selena Johnson. Hey, girl. Hey, what's popping? And of course, Miss Lisa Ray. Hey, girl. How you doing? Glad to be here and glad to see you, girls. All right. Well, we're going to talk about everything that's trending on social media and in the news. And later on the show, we are chatting with life coach and author. I love her. Evelyn Braxton, and one of the powerhouse singers from the group Escape, Tamika Scott. I know y'all been waiting on the other side of the story, so you don't want to miss that. Queens, how was everybody's weekend before we get into the big announcement of what tonight is? The weekend was fabulous. I um, had some warm weather here in LA. Finally, no rain and no cold, no chill. And I was in my backyard with the grandbaby and we were swimming and I needed that peaceful, you know, sound of nature outside. So I I found a little peace, you know, and that was great. Very nice, Selena. Well, you guys, it's AU season. I just stay in gyms. <laughs> right. And in between gym time, I go catch the end of, I mean, the NBA playoff games. Basically, I'm in a basketball, it's basketball game in my house. So AJ had his first EYBL Nike session tournament. It was so many, girl, when I tell you, it was so many men in that gym. Y'all should have been there, Lisa Ray, Vivica, girl, Claudia, girl, <laughs> auntie. When I tell you, it was all the old school, um, you know, NBA players and coaches from all over the world. <laughs> it was it was a fan <laughs> fest. Okay, if you were a single woman, that was the place to be this weekend. So, but that's I'm I'm married, so I was hollering at the at the at the ports. That's it. of course you were there, just yeah, being professional, of course. Just well, being... me and Kiwan were definitely being unprofessional and screaming at the kids. <laughs> and, the... <laughs> <laughs> and Vivica, I know you've been directing and and you just wrapped on that, and you've been really busy shooting commercials today. So, you, I know you was busy. You was all was it all work all weekend? Or did you get yes, it was work? work all weekend. I literally wrapped the first lady a BMF film, the Tanisha Welch story. Yay. and got on a plane and have been shooting six new car show commercials uh, for the past two days. I literally just wrapped. Y'all can see I'm here in my trailer, uh, but I was not missing tonight because, okay. wow, wowzers, wowzers. Tonight is so special. And uh, I'm glad I'm here with here with my queen. So it so really you. is. And we are happy to have everyone looks extra beautiful tonight. Uh, my weekend, I went to the casino one day. I, I didn't lose no money. I won a little bit. Yes, I'm just, Claudia. Okay. <laughs> I had way more at one point, but I gave some back. But I didn't I didn't leave under. Um, what else happened? Oh, today I got this from Selena. So thank you, Selena. Yay. Appreciate the gifts. Um, I got docs over the weekend. This little heifer that's been obsessed with me for years. She had like put a whole thing about my house on her show and then a caller called in with the address. So now I, I'm like worried about, do I need to move again? So I'm my preparing God. my lawsuit because that is a, that you cannot dock someone, put someone's, you're putting someone's safety in jeopardy. But other than that, I'm still happy. The house is going well. Things are looking nice, but enough about me. Enough about us. Well, no more about us tonight. We have a special show in store because we are celebrating our three-year anniversary in our 139th episode, y'all. Wow. Wow. What a number. 139? 139. Man. And to kick off our three-year celebration, let's take a look down memory lane. Take a look. (laughs) The Kardashians have single-handedly changed the woman's body shape that's acceptable now. Now, it's a small waist, all this ass would look like the ankles can't even hold up all of that. But I will still always have my little rock star crush, and it's Sway Lee for me, so. Sway Lee, baby. Come on the show, Sway Lee, Mm -hmm. and then come to to, uh, the valley. (laughs) (laughs) I hope it's a ring in that drink. Thank you. I'm telling you, next time I'm gonna have my dollars ready. (laughs) Uh, TJ, I hope it's a ring down to the next drink. (laughs) First one, never have I ever had a threesome. Where's my sign? It's dropped. No. Uh -uh. (laughs) Come on, girl. We need Pacey in here, okay? And when the beat dropped, I thought I could do a James Brown split and come Mm. back up. 
but I went down and I snapped my MCL and this guy had a Coogee sweatshirt on a fr sweater in front of me, like the Bill Cosby sweater. And I oh. grabbed his sweater and I stretched it all the way out and I go, <laughs> 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 he don't see no white supremacist out here. Yes. Yeah, he did. He spelled it wrong too, by the way. I think that's the one word you would know, think he know how to spell. I need to turn the computer off. I need to turn the computer off because get your ass out of here because who was that then who killed Ahmad off? Please welcome the one, the only, our queen, Miss Dion Warwick. Uh, I like horses. I'm a horse rider. I compete in barrel racing. You know, mm. I, you know, horses for me, I love the, how thick their necks are and how long their tails are and how wide they ass is. Like all of that. Right. Is like, I'm like a stud. I'm talking about the horse that is. Yeah, sure you are. Yeah. Be kind to people. Yes. Show so love. Spread love, please do. Conflict yes. resolution. Okay. Mental See y'all next Monday. Therapy. All right. Yes. Three years, and we've been together. Cocktails with Queen uh, was Queen with Queens was born out of the pandemic. Y'all came on out loud with Claudia Jordan, and then that evolved to this. And uh, it has been an amazing ride, ladies. And I'm so glad that y'all have you know, wanted to do this and we're here and now it's our show and it's, it's fantastic. And I absolutely look forward to Mondays. I think a lot of people do too. So. And then look how much we evolved because I was looking at some of us in the frames and it's, you know, our lighting was dark or some of us didn't right. really have one or we had the ring light that's obsolete now. And now we like, poof, here we are. <laughs> man, our Wi-Fi that came a long way. Right. Lisa Ray. Uh -oh. Man, it was like, we was on dial up back then. It felt like. Okay. <laughs> Um, how does it feel, ladies, to, to reach this milestone? Selena, what do you think? You know, it just speaks to the resilience of, you know, Fox Soul. It speaks to the resilience of us. I mean, you have to understand, we have been, you guys have, well, all of us, we've been full-blown career women still, you know, finding a way to every single Monday. Like, we don't get days off unless it's like, you know, like, you, you can't just be like, oh, I'm sick today, I ain't gonna do it. We show up every single solitary Monday, whether people are on set, people are on off getting off the stage. Like it is, it has really been, um, you know, a test of our resilience. And I, I just think it speaks volumes to how professional everyone is and how amazing everyone is. And, you know, I'm just really, really proud and I'm honored every Monday to be able to sit and converse with you beautiful, smart, amazing black women. So I just, girl, I'm just overwhelmed. It's just three years and, you know, we started down to a pandemic, child. Yeah, we did. And we still here through the COVID when the, when the people was like this. So I'm just proud of us. Absolutely. Lisa Ray, what do you think? I feel the same exact way. And, and really for me, you guys keep me current because a lot of times when we are down to coming off the stage and not directing and not on set and not you know, performing and doing a play or whatever and everything that we do, that our commitment has still been to be here on Monday nights, yes. whether we're in Africa or Israel or whatever the time difference is. That's a level of professionalism and commitment that we have for not just Fox Soul and not just for ourselves, but for you, you, each other, you, you, and you. That's <laughs> right. And last but certainly not least, Miss Vivica, what do you think? How are you feeling right now? My heart is bursting right now, and I'm really trying not to cry. Who cries? Good for ratings. Vivica's a crybaby. She, she, she <laughs> cries. Better her than me. No. And just like tonight, I told him, I said, y'all, y'all got to have me wrap my 745. Tonight is so special. Oh, let's see. I love y'all. Oh, Vivica, you gonna make us all cry. I can't. You up. messing up my gangster now. Come oh, on. Neither. My last is holding yes. on. We've been through so much together. Yeah. We've grown so much as women together. Closer friendships. You know, Lisa Ray, my baby sister. I feel like our relationships has just grown that we can talk about everything that we go through in life. Y'all have now become my extended sisters. That, you know, when we have just whatever we're going through in life, so we can talk about it with each other. You, you know, this is a safe place for us on Monday to vent 
Y'all have no idea after the shows how we stay on the on the line with each other for like an hour just talking about stuff. So I love y'all. I'm so happy to celebrate this milestone. Maybe I'm tired. Shit, I don't know. But shoot, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Take some wine for us, girl. Pour out a little. And I got a big old glass okay. here, but I I've been going to a lot the last month. And but I look forward to this. Monday. And I just want to tell y'all how proud of us I am. I love y'all. And let's keep making it do what it do. Um, I I feel fantastic. You know, it's people always say, Oh, this group of personalities, like how yeah, I'm sure y'all be going at it, or they would probably think we that do. Going at, but we yeah, we actually have all had issues. We've had incidents, we've People have been blocked, mad at each other, <laughs> mess ups, all kinds of stuff we've had. But we've, we've had to really have heartfelt, real conversations and, and decide if we wanted to continue working together again or continue to be friends. And, I, and I'm and i glad we did because I do think it's made these relationships strong. I used to see Lisa Ray out all the time and Vivica and we would be cordial, high and by. We didn't like really spend a lot of time with each other. But because of this show, you know, Lisa Ray's filming a movie in Oklahoma. I drive up, we hung out. She's cooked her amazing food. I went to LA, I go see Vivica, I go to her house, ate some food. It's always about food. I, I see Selena in Atlanta, we've hung out. And I didn't have that before the pandemic, you know? So I appreciate y'all because everyone here is extremely busy and booked and starved. So imagine there's people that are not even stars that that don't have the perfect attendance that we have here. Okay. And y'all, we, we've been in Africa, Aruba, all, all kinds Tell of me. different places working on other projects, but we somehow all make a way to get on this Zoom and, yeah. and broadcast the show. And and that that says a lot because anyone here could have walked away at any time and said, I'm too busy. And that says a lot. And yeah. to the people that come up to me in the street and say how much you love this show, how we've gotten you through the pandemic, you've gotten us through the pandemic as well, because a lot of us were very depressed and lonely during the pandemic. And we knew showing up, like showing up for y'all every Monday night did something for us as well. Yes. Right. James DeBose and Justin, the whole Fox Thank family. Yes. Thank you for like, Thank you know. You Joyce, everyone. Thank yes. y'all so very much. Cause y'all been here through the good, bad and the ugly too. Okay. Hey, Man, hey. we don't have some drama too back behind the scenes as well. We yes. ain't gonna talk about okay. that. <laughs> with those, yes. the cocktails with Queens. Yes. Let's do a toast, ladies, to yes. Black excellence, to women sticking together and, and dispelling that the thought that, you know, women can't we get along like this because we have. Yes. Strange. Cheers, Cheers, ladies. Okay. Happy 139. Oh, that's the weight I'm trying to be. Uh-uh. <laughs> Oh, honey, you're trying to be skin tea. Right, like, girl, quit it. And I told okay, her to some okay. curves. Okay, 149. All right, y'all, <laughs> ladies. Coming up next, we are chatting with everyone's favorite TV mom and life coach, Evelyn Braxton, is here. Keep it locked. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Cocktails with Queens, the 139th episode. Tonight, we are joined by a self-empowering life coach and author who has birthed and nurtured a group of very talented ladies that we like to call, y'all know them, the Braxtons. Please give it up for the one and only Evelyn Braxton. Hey, Evelyn. Oh. Thank How you, you feeling so tonight, much. Queen? I'm doing really well, thank you. How are you guys? Girl, Amazing. always heard of crying, celebrating our third anniversary. We just all about girl power tonight. So we're so yeah. glad that you joined us tonight. So let's get right to it. Um, a few months ago, your kids surprised you with a birthday celebration in Atlanta. What was that like for you celebrating yet another fabulous year with all of your loved ones? Exciting. Very mm -hmm. exciting. I mean, you know, they know that I'm 39 and holding. They know okay. that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so even on the cake, it says that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had a ball. It was wonderful that God had blessed me another year. And my family was around me. Of course, Tracy wasn't here, but nevertheless, God yes. is good. You know what I mean? And yes, I won't yes. complain because I had a ball. I danced. All night long. Okay, yeah. stop yeah. it. I <laughs> still got it going on. How about okay. that? So, hey. you know Miss Braxton, I, you know, I, I, speaking of family, you know, it's been one year since the loss of your daughter Tracy Braxton, and yeah. 
you remind me a lot of my mom, and I just buried my mom uh, about a month ago. You rule with an iron fist, and that respect yeah. that they have for you, I saw it. When you said, yeah. I don't say another word. Okay. I said, oh, and so did Tamar and everybody else. They knew. They knew. But how are you and the family holding up now? How were you oh, able really to well. find the strength of, you know, from that time? Like, to lose a child that I can't imagine, and I couldn't imagine losing uh, my mom either. But where do you find the strength to, 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 to cope? Well, I really find the strength in God. Yeah. You know, that's my strength. You know, that's my pillow that I, I lean on. You know, at, at the end of the day, baby, that's all we got. You know, and I thank God for the years he had given Tracy uh, with us and we were Tracy. And I can't lie and say, oh, it's just been a wonderful time. We never argued. We never this. We never, because I'm lying if I say that. And I'm not going to do that. Not at all. And, you know, in a family, you have your ups, you have your downs, for God's sake. But at the end of the day, you have each other. You have God holding the range. So that's what's important. So we've been we've been doing really well, I think. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. Mama E, I just want you to know, you know, I loved Tracy so much. She was, that's my girl. She's my, she was my soror, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, my heart just goes out to you and your entire family. I just love your whole family. Um, but Mama E, your love and authenticity and courage as a mother has pinned you as the title for the title of the favorite TV mom on TV. Anyway. Now, what is something you learned about yourself throughout your journey as a mother and a glam mother? Well, you know what? I really learned that, um, you know, when you're young and you're raising your kids, you really don't have time to think of yourself. It's about them. It's about family. But what I really learned, girl, is it's about me. How about that? Okay. <laughs> it is about me. And I never, I never took that time to figure out anything because it was always about someone else. But I woke up one day and I'm like, okay, oh, okay, Lord, uh, I'm getting older you know, um, lines trying to come in my face and I'm fighting it teeth and nails, okay? And I've never really have experienced anything for me. So as time goes on, you realize, realize that life is precious. And if you don't do anything with life, then that's on you. So that's what I've done. It's about Evelyn J. Braxton. How about that? And the J is for Jackson. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Evelyn, um, and you know what Janet said. You know what Janet said. Uh, we do. We do. Miss Jackson. Jackson, if you nasty. If let me find out, Miss <laughs> Evelyn. Let me find out you nasty. Um, you said lines. <laughs> lines. You look like you could be one of the sisters, not the mama. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I'm like, you so I'm looking at the cheek. I'm like, you, you, yeah, you good. You snatched. Wow. You look great. Hey, Miss Evelyn, I'm switching gears. You recently uh, released a cookbook, uh, Cooking mm -hmm. with Miss E. What inspired you to publish a cookbook? And you got to tell us, what's one of your favorite dishes or the dish you think you make the best? Uh, all of them are the best, but the <laughs> one that I like <laughs> okay. is the porcupine meatballs. Because it's very easy. Anybody can do that recipe. It's just uh, hamburger and rice oh. and tomato paste or tomato sauce. It's very easy. Of course, with your little spices and so on and so forth. But if you can't cook, you will be able to do that recipe. Now, can you make it with turkey meat? Like if like you, you can make it of course. Okay. The Absolutely. queen's one needs to put a... egg in it to make it stick though. You know, because turkey meat is not, it doesn't stick like you know the ground. Do well, you have to put if eggs in it to kind of keep it to stick, if you use turkey. If you use turkey, all you have to do 
it's put um, crumbled bread, bread in it. Bread crumbs, mm -hmm. like, like just bread know. crumbs. And just mix that, just mix it and mix it and mix it and uh, put your onions in it, your green peppers in it, whatever you like, whatever spices you like, put it in there and mix it. And if you have any leftover rice, mm -hmm. or cook the rice for God's sakes and put it <laughs> in and just mix it all together and drop it into your sauce. Put the mm -hmm. Kevin Dogan. Don't. Old school mamas, they have a way oh, of goodness. telling you something and dictating it to you at the same time. And she's like, my God, just, just for God's sake. Together. Miss, Miss, Girl. Miss Evelyn, don't be surprised if the Queens roll up to your crib next time we all in Atlanta. Cause it's like, I'm just saying, we want to try this okay. cooking one time. Mm -hmm. okay. Come on I over. This, okay. honey, I, I need to get this here book too. Cause I'm, I've been trying to cook more cause my kids have become, they've become DoorDash uh, yeah, uh, I, and I can't take it no more. So I, I've been trying to cook every single, every other day, so they can have food. Now, See? mommy, you have also, um, you also have another business venture called God Can Heal the Heart. Tell us Absolutely. about God Can Heal the Heart. You know, years ago, that's been in existence for years. When I went through my divorce, you know, I, I don't know if any of you. Uh, been through a divorce or what have you, but that's devastating. Yeah. Extremely devastating. And sometimes you wonder what's wrong with me for God's sakes. Mm. I'm not pretty enough or mm. I'm not this enough. All of those crazy things run into your head because of uh, the low self-esteem that, that you didn't realize you had for God's sakes. Mm -hmm. Because you're so busy in the hustle and the bustle, trying to please everybody else, trying to make sure that the family is okay. You never, you, you just didn't take time for yourself. Amen. And so when this thing happened, I'm like, my God. So one night I was lying in the bed and I was praying and asking God to please help me to get through this and what have you. And I had a dream. and. The dream I had, I saw this hand, but I didn't see the hand. It's like had a roll on. And he reached down into my chest and pulled my heart out. And he took his other hand and he covered it. Mm. And when he covered it, he took his hand off and he placed it back into my heart. And I heard these words when it said, God can heal the heart. Mm. And from there, I'm like, okay, Lord, give me the strength to help other women, to empower them, to let them know it's not over. You know, what has happened is bad rubbish is gone. Okay. okay. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Now yes. look here, okay, because you done get in touch, you done been reborn, but I want to know, is it a, a special man that's got you feeling uh, uh, good like you are? You got a friend? You dating? Not really. I may <laughs> go out from time to time, but uh, <laughs> baby girl, I'm into Evelyn. Okay. That's who I'm <laughs> into. How about that? Yeah. You okay, know, and I it's... This, you know, that's a good message to spread to other ladies that it's okay to date yourself and, yes. and, and put you first at all times. So I think that's a beautiful message. I mean, oh, you've touched you. all of our hearts so much. And girl, I feel like I'm over here. We don't went to church. We don't went to the kitchen. We didn't ate. We didn't done everything. Okay. Yeah. I do. Right. So I want to thank you so much. You have just touched us all. I'm sitting over here okay. trying not to cry because I know you've been through a lot. And God bless you. Keep shining, Queen. We love you. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. And thank you for having me. And you guys are just incredible. And I want to tell you, I love each and every one of you. You guys have so much and you have given so much for three years. Do you realize how many women have grown from what you said? God bless you. Keep up thank the good you. work. Thank we received you, that. Thank and you. I love you, love you, love you. I love you, you too, mommy. We love you back. We love you. Thank All you right, so coming much. up next.
is Queen. All right. Queen of the right. show. We are catching up with the beautiful and talented singer and author, Tamika Scott. Stay tuned. You don't oh want to miss it. Welcome back to Cocktails with the Queens. Okay, everyone, we have reached the part of the show where we talk about our relationships, the challenges we faced in our lives and how we've overcome them. And so welcome to our queendom. Tonight's topic will focus on our three-year celebration of bringing the people entertainment, heartfelt stories, and true Black girl magic empowerment. Queens, what is something that you've learned about yourself? Just one thing that you've learned about yourself over the past three years, and how has Cocktails with the Queens impacted your life? Um, Lisa Ray, let's start with you. Absolutely. It's a couple, but the first thing that comes to my mind is how you say things, you know, and I've heard that lesson from my mother over and over again. It's not what you say, it's how you say it, you know, and when it comes with body language and when it comes with exclamation points and caps. <laughs> okay. And you'd be like, hold up, wait a minute. But <laughs> when you say stuff, sometimes, you know, you, you cannot never take it back. But sometimes the honesty that comes from that has to merely be what you felt to be able to realize this is what I meant, but I didn't mean to say it in that vein. And so a lot of things I've said has made, you know, media take out the shade room and da 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 has made me go back and say, oh, you know what? I should have added more to that commentary, to that narrative, because I didn't mean it like that. And so it has made me become more aware of just say exactly, exactly what I mean when I'm doing things like this. I have no problem with interviews, <laughs> but sometimes they'll take a, a, a blur of something and make it something when it's really nothing. So I've learned to curtail that. Yep. Um, Vivica, what's one, well, one thing you've learned? Well, the person she was talking about writing in all caps was me. <laughs> <laughs> Not that what I said. If you get the message we'll right on the couch, box in all cool. caps, she 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 mean it. Okay, uh, you know what I've learned from the show is sisterhood more than anything else. That I'm the first one when I'm mad, I let you know, but I'm also the first one to apologize. All caps. Say, hey, let's talk about it, <laughs> and in all caps. <laughs> um, but uh, I've just kind of gotten a little bit more in touch with myself and my feelings and how to communicate better without blocking somebody. Good job, girl! Yeah. <laughs> Claudia, you have been in media on this side for years, but what have you learned about yourself with this particular show? Um, You know, I think when you're, a, a, you know, a celebrity or your personality, you're used to people kind of just like telling you what you want to hear. Right. Like a lot of times the people in your circle just tell you what you want to hear. Like they agree with you. And I think it's important to have respectful conversation with people that you don't necessarily agree with. And that doesn't mean they're a bad person or you're a bad person. That means you have two different experiences. And I think that's dope to be open to hear how somebody else thinks. And I think that's like and I think people watching the show, that's one thing that they love about us, that we don't always agree on things. So a lot of times we do, but a lot of times. I think a lot of times me and Vivica be on one side and Selena and Lisa Ray be on the other side and, and then sometimes it switches. But but it's Lisa Ray is gonna always be the devil's advocate, trust. But I think I think that's great because I think um real friendships that are healthy, they don't just tell you what you want to hear. And sometimes you have to hear something that you may not agree with or even some constructive criticism about yourself. And I think Agreed. on the show, we've been able to, to do that with each other. You know, we've had to have difficult conversations, sidebars with each other. And, 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 and it's gotten us to where we are now. Like this, we've been rocky, you guys. And I, I'm not just saying that to be shady, but we have. And I only say that because we've been rocky, yet we got past that. Exactly. So that's dope as hell. Like, you know how amazing that is? Like how many girl groups broke up because they couldn't yeah. do what we're doing? It's you know growth. What I'm saying? It's growth. So right? that's growth. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, I love it. Selena, how about you? Listen, I agree with all of you ladies. I'm just going to say I belong here. You know, I found out that I belong here. I'm a recording artist. I've been singing to my fans, to women, to Black women for many years, over two decades. But doing Sister Circle first and then Cocktails with the Queens, Fox Soul confirmed that I have something to say, not something to just sing, but something to say. And that, you know, something to say to help heal, motivate, inspire, and educate Black women and, and whoever else is listening. So um, I'm just very grateful. And I've learned that I've got 
something to say. And so I got something to say right now. We got called to a T. So coming up next, we're talking to an amazingly talented singer from the hit group Escape, Tamika Scott, honey, because she got something to say. So you don't want to miss it. Mm -hmm. Bam! And welcome back to Cocktails and Queens. <laughs> Check it out. Tonight we are joined by a powerhouse singer and author who just so happened to be part of the legendary group Escape. But first, let's take a behind the scenes look at her new single tonight with Method Man. I like yes. that. Please welcome Tamika Scott. Hey. 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 Tamika, hey. how are you doing tonight? <laughs> First of all, let me say, y'all gave me a reason to drink today. Congratulations. Yay. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. you beautiful queens. Salute to you. Thank, Thank you, girl, because this is our third anniversary, 139th show. I thought it was such an odd number. I was like, 139 and not 140? But it fell on <laughs> Monday, so here we are. Yes. Tamika, before we dive into the music, we must address the elephant in the room. Oh my you know, because your sister Latasha <laughs> Scott recently appeared on our show as well. And this is what she had to say, so take a look. Oh, Lord. It's not even about the $30,000. It's about having my sister back. Like, I'll give you that. But at the right. end of the day, you need to talk to me. I don't want to hear from somebody. You're talking to everybody else outside of me. Talk to me. Okay, now, I want to share this because you and I just saw each other uh, last week. And I had to come to you. And this is personal for me because I know that some, if not all, has witnessed the confrontation that my sister and myself had on the show Fox Soul Cocktails of Queens on my birthday. And what it really was for me, it came across as anger, but it was really hurt. And the hurt is what allowed the tears to come and me to point the finger, but my family, my friends, and being out of town with a special friend, when I woke up in tears and she said, you are the sister, you're the older sister, you have to make a difference, you have to do something about this. And through my tears of feeling like my ego was bruised and uh, why me and why should it have to be me? It doesn't matter who it is. Because all I know is that I wanted my sister back because we family, you know? So I want to give you, you know, your space here. And I'm so glad that you are here because I heard you say that, you know, you didn't want to address this anymore and we want to respect that. But is there anything that you would like to say and, and where do you ladies stand now? Well, I mean, currently we're still not speaking. Um, yeah. Oh, no. But I want to thank you for when we spoke, you being that person to say, you know, I want y'all to get back together. Like you probably the first positive person I've talked to. Everybody else be coming in and, oh, you need to do this. You should do that. But you came to me and said, I know where you are. And I felt your heart. And I really appreciate that from you. Thank you. Welcome. You're so welcome. And it's not going to, I, I ain't going to be able to just let the period lie there. I'm going to reach out and we going to have to get this together. You can ask Vivica. I'm, I'm, I'm as hard as I am. I'm just as soft too. I'm about togetherness. I'm about a, a, a group effort. I'm about being able to come together and support each other. So we, we, we you're going to hear from me. We're going to have to get this together. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Tamika, I know with Lisa Ray that absolutely comes with love. You know, her and I over the years went through challenges that I was like, oh, child, I'm never going to talk to her again. And, you know, time heals all wounds. Know that, okay? But if you need the time, don't be afraid to take it, okay? Thank you. And have people respect that. So listen, we're going to move on. Um, let's talk about your reality show. Yeah. Let me say, before we move on, I want to say that I love my sister. Yes. Good. That's good love to know. Sister. And I support her wholeheartedly. And I ask everyone to support her. And I ask everyone. It's Sweet. okay, babe. It's okay. Prayers. That's love. That's love. That's why I said, take the time. And it's okay, baby. Take the time for that when you're ready. That then you can say you are. It's okay. 
Mika, this is a positive, like, safe place for you. Yes, if just if know sister, that. If, if your sister's watching, is there anything you want her to know? Yeah. Or say to her? Like, that, like, maybe that could be the catalyst to start this. And uh, is there anything you want to say to her if she's watching? I just, I want the best for her. Mm -hmm. And I want her to love herself. Mm -hmm. And don't let nobody stop you from being who you are. Yes. Because you were who you are before you met him. Oh. You're going to always be that star with or without him. Mm. I want you to love yourself. It's not about me. It's not about the group. It's about you. And it's about your love for yourself. Because you deserve the best. And a lot of women have to learn that. It's self-love. Do you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes we get caught up in, in situations that take us to the left. So I'm glad you said that to your sister. Okay, baby, it's all right. It's okay. Let's move on. Okay, let's talk about some happy stuff. All right. Because we didn't bring you on to have you crying. We want to celebrate you because you've got a show, SWV and Escape the Queens of R&B, which is very popular. Everybody loves it. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the way you all were represented on the show? The show itself, mm -hmm. if I had a chance to do it over, I wouldn't. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. wow. I can't win because it's just a lot that happened. And sometimes when you do, when you do business with friends, sometimes mm -hmm. some people don't know how to take the business and they like to say, oh, you've been disrespectful, but it's not being disrespectful is we're having a business conversation. And, and it's been a big misconception about, oh, escape was very disrespectful, but we weren't, you know, you had candy saying, you know, about the top billing and, you know, we had a conversation and one thing that shouldn't have happened, it shouldn't have happened on TV. It should have been the managers talking it out. Right. Right. But it didn't happen that way. And a lot of things were said that shouldn't have been. But one thing I can truly say is that we never disrespected SWB. We never said we wanted to fight. We never talked about their bodies. We never talked about everything that were said were facts and it was business. So do you think I, there's going to be a season two? No, <laughs> I won't be in it. <laughs> no, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it because, you know, looking at it, you see these two Powerful. Great groups, powerful groups that's still thriving. 30 years, 30, 30 years for us, 31 years for mm -hmm. SWV. It could have been a better situation, but right. it wasn't. And unfortunately, it's not a tour. But you know, I I got love for them. They're so talented. They got hits. They're still, I still love them, you know, but just the business, just we couldn't get the business together. Mm. So that was just the sad part about that. Tamika, do you think Word. that reality television perpetuates Black women going against each other? Do you think this was an opportunity to, to really, you know what I'm saying, um, exploit you guys instead of build you up another opportunity? Do you think this, this happened on purpose? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It was just a lot of different elements that were happening. Um, I feel like if we would have stayed coarse, on what the show should have been about. And if everybody would have had the same mind from the producers to the directors, then it could have been a better show. It could have been. Well, I'll tell you a show that's absolutely popping, honey, and it's your video, okay? The <laughs> show of your video. Okay, and you just released a song called Tonight. Yes. Method Man. <laughs> Woo, okay, cow. The cow. Okay, so let's take a listen to the new song. Me and my missus, hugs and kisses, we just different. Traces of lipstick, we can escape and just kick it. Tonight, tonight, it's the Let me be honest oh, and transparent God. here for a minute because <laughs> I, I forgot y'all all know how to sing. But baby, I think y'all Awards and you belted out what you belted out. I said, what? 
I, I forgot she sang, sang. I, you. It, so you showed up, girl. You showed out. I was like, yeah, they here. That's why we love them. <laughs> yes, and Tamika, I first of all, for me, I'm just so proud of you and I am so happy for you because through everything that you're going through and everything that escape is going, all the things that all the ladies are going through, you all still find a way to prevail. You know, and I and I just I love the song. I love that you did it with Method Man. But what inspired you to do this song and be courageous? You know, pass all this drama, and then okay, I know why you chose Method Man because he Method Man. <laughs> but you know, because that was the classic Mary J. Blige. Did you have like on your mind your all I need kind of redo? You know what I'm saying? So what was your whole? You know, what was the energy behind this record? Well, I actually wrote this record a couple of years ago for a mixtape that mm -hmm. never came out. So I was cleaning up one day and I was listening to it after going through this mess with the TV show. And I was cleaning up and I was listening. I was like, can't no drama come away. Hey. Tonight I'm going to celebrate. I was like, "Woo!" Oh. I needed it. The words, it resonated with me. And right. I was like, you know what, for one night. I just need to celebrate me. It was a lot mm -hmm. of things that I accomplished that I wanted to show on the on the, on the um, show, but they took away. Like you saw Tiny, she was cooking out of my cookbook. They wouldn't mention it. She was using my seasonings. They didn't mention it. She made one of my drinks. They didn't mention it. I brought the seasoning to Taj. They didn't mention it. So I was like, I'm going to celebrate me. During the pandemic, I created eight different spices. Tamika Scott Southern Fuse. And I have my own cookbook. Table set cooking with Tamika Scott, because y'all know I love to cook. I be throwing that. <laughs> so none of that was show. So I said, you know what? If nobody else going to celebrate me, I'm going to take out this one day. Can't no drama come my way. I ain't thinking about no bills. I ain't thinking about no naysayers. I ain't thinking about no haters. I'm going to celebrate me. And I want this song to be that celebration for all of us, because it's a lot of us wives and, and mothers and grandmothers and, and entrepreneurs and people that's working nine to five. We get so caught up in making sure the family's good, making sure, you know, the boss man is satisfied on the job. When are we going to take our time to celebrate us? So this song is a reminder to take out that time and celebrate you because you deserve it. Okay. Well, I, you I, love, I love that that seems to be the theme of the show, starting with Miss Evelyn before you. And I, I want to just let you know and, and spread some positivity to you. I'm looking at the comments and they are loving you. They want to bring you to number one. They want you to be on Atlanta Housewives. They want to see more of you. They are Ooh. supporting you. I just want you to know that. I, I, I've been on reality TV where you go in with the best intentions, like we're going to be positive and you get positive, but the positive gets edited out and it's on the, on the, on the editing room floor. And you're like, I did my part, but that's up to producers what they want to pick and choose. And once there's a fight, they're going to run with that. But despite all that, I want you to know that people saw through all that and they are still showing you a lot of love in these yep. comments. So please mm -hmm. don't cry. Yep. Please know you are so loved. And Tamika, the fans want to know, I want to know, we want to know here at Cocktails of Queens. What can we expect from you next? Because you're can you, you doing your thing. And are you <laughs> planning on releasing a solo project soon? Well, right now I am still with my group Escape. We're still doing shows. We have a lot of shows coming up. I have a list here I want to talk about. So if you're in Ontario, California, South Carolina, we'll be here in Atlanta, June the 2nd, Miami, Orlando, Jacksonville. We are still doing shows, the three of us, until my sister wants to come back and join the group because she's working on her, her gospel album make sure y'all support definitely support my sister support me and my single tonight um i just shot a movie a christmas movie that's coming out at the end of the year so you get a chance to see me do a little acting and my daughter young naya she just dropped her ep called switch it up young naya she's yes. acting. <laughs> my mini me so make sure y'all cop that too i said i'd be joking i'm like well she could be out here selling drugs or selling some booty but she's not okay work she's rapping so we just gonna support her <laughs> well, that's a good thing girl you got some good things going on you know what I mean? Your future looks bright. Maybe that's what the whole show was about. Just to showcase you and put you in a whole life for you to be cleaning up that day and find that doggone song and put it out and say, hey, this is who I am and this is where I stand. So we thank you as the queens to one queen to another. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your tears, your happiness, your joys, and your blessings. Thank you. Thank you all. Congratulations. And shout out to Met the Man. Shout out to Met the Man. Oh, God, yes. Shout out to Met the Man. Hey, come on through when you want hey, to. <laughs> All right. Well, coming up next, a former NBA coach is still offended by the Black Lives Matter movement. Find out why when we return. 
Welcome back. And what a wonderful moment. That's what Cocktails with Queens is all about. I know y'all want us to get messy. We're going to get messy sometimes, but at the end of the day, we want our guests leaving feeling better than when they got here. So Tamika, thank you so much. And uh, we appreciate you coming through. All right, y'all, tonight we are celebrating the three-year anniversary of Cocktails. So it's only right that we take it back to this beautiful moment with the Jennifer Lewis. Check it out. Claudia, there I come. Selena, Lisa Ray, <laughs> all I had to say is I had fun with y'all today. <laughs> Keep on doing what you're doing. I'm so proud of y'all. Hey, now. Man, yeah. come on now. Hey. Come on, Cocktails of Queens. Classic <laughs> moment. Marinated. Yes. All right. Thank you, Miss Jennifer Lewis, for that. All right. Let's get back to some topics. Former NBA coach Phil Jackson revealed to Rick Rubin that he hasn't watched a basketball game since 2020 because of the Black Lives Matter logos and slogans. Wow. The audacity. Well, what are your thoughts on this foolishness, Vivica? We're going to go to you first on this yeah, one. Girl, you know I'm a true fan. And when I saw that come up, I was like, Phil. Now, you of all people who have, mm, yeah. I mean, it was disappointing. And I'm going to let yes. the other girls carry it on, but that was completely disappointing. And um, damn, Phil. Yeah, yeah. Being a true Chicagoan from the Bulls, and he has led so many Black players to the playoffs with that team works, you know, team ethic. I am so shocked and surprised that he would even... What does that matter, Phil? I don't, I don't understand. I, it's got to be. Uh, 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 nope, nope, nope. Uh, uh, I ain't going for it. It's something else to this. It is something else to this. He, we left out something. They didn't, they didn't tell us something. <laughs> Unfortunately, Lisa Ray, it's nothing else to a child. I read down to the story, and basically, he was just kind of saying, you know, it kind of made the game goofy, like to see all the different names. My thing is this, you know in the same tone as Vivica, you know, I'm very disappointed in Phil. Um, but Phil, you have to think, this is the problem with white people who are in alignment with black people. Um, you put the game of basketball before George Floyd dying with, for nine minutes, before Ahmaud Arbery, um, before uh, Breonna Taylor, you know, before inequality, and before the entire world and culture, we need those. Those boys were in a bubble. They also they also felt oppressed in a way. And we were in a we were in a time so stressful on so many levels. We needed that camaraderie. We needed to see those positive images because we were bombarded by negativity every day. So I'm very disappointed in him because he he bumped his head on that one. He missed the fact that you put a game over people's you put a game over an entire movement you know yeah. what i'm saying you minute you made you minimized it and made it like it was nothing oh when it muddied up the game well tell that to ahmaud arbery's mother mm -hmm. tell yeah. that tell that to the to the millions of people around the world who march for equality like yeah. it, it I, was I like just to careless it I was like careless to and i'm disappointed in feel i like to piggyback on all you ladies comments phil jackson you would be absolutely nothing without your partnership with Michael Jordan and the tons of other black players that made you the, the icon and legend you are today. So Kobe to Bryant. only support black people when it makes you feel comfortable and it lines your pockets is absolute ridiculousness. I'm not cussing tonight because it's our three year anniversary, so I'm gonna behave, but F O H with that. I am so sick and tired of white people that profit off of black people's efforts and tears and blood. But then when we need you to step up for us, you know what to be found or this offends you. Besides the victims, the players that had to be uncomfortable. So you're uncomfortable seeing slogans. Imagine how it is for your black players showing up to work and have to play through the game, knowing people that look like them are being gunned down. Shame on you, Phil Jackson. Be less like Phil Jackson and more like Co P Coach Popovich, who gets it right every single time. Agree. Who gets it right every single time. Because there are white men, white coaches that get it right. But why can't you, Phil? Why can't you? Your slip is showing. You got it. Sometimes you just got to shut what they call 
the the heck up. I'm going to say this. You got to just do it. Bye, Phil, Leisha. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. It was announced that uh, earlier that Don Lemon has been terminated by CNN. Now, Don tweeted the following message on social media. I was informed uh, this morning by my agent that I've been terminated uh, by CNN. I'm stunned. Don added, after 17 years at CNN, I would have thought that someone in management would have the decency to tell me directly. Were y'all surprised to hear this news? I was. I was. Yeah. I'm shocked um, because I thought that they were moving him into a higher position when they moved him from the night night show to the daytime show to bring in more viewers. Don Lemon is an absolute CNN legend. You know, he didn't have some moments that you went, OK, Don, you was, you know, a little tipsy that time. But he's always fun and he's been he has respect. And Don, only thing I'm going to say, baby, somebody else going to pick you up up soon. You're very qualified. and I respect you, and I want to see you someplace else. CNN done let go of two fines. Yep. Women, and then that other quiz, the Como bro, uh, one with his fine self. So, you know, yeah. I don't know what's going yeah. on over You know, there. we only have 40 seconds left, okay. so we're going to just wrap this. I think we all feel the same way. The way they did uh, him was uh, disgusting. And, you know, without uh, Cuomo and, and Don Lemon, what's really left to watch? I'm done with CNN officially, so I'm done. That is through the pandemic. But I'm what's our last story? We don't Usher. have time. We don't Come on, we do. Usher, go on and perform at Super Bowl. We have 20 Usher seconds. Usher wants to perform at Super Bowl, and we all here for it. All right. Special thanks to Evelyn Braxton and Tamika Scott for hanging out with us. Congratulations, ladies. And thanks for watching us on YouTube. Stay tuned for the Black Water Horse movies. Catch it on your YouTube channel and website. See you next week. Bye, Queens. Congratulations. Bye.